Relational plus So, <clears throat> just making sure there's enough space for my recording when, um, also it should be, um, uploading all this stuff sooner or later, and just like, uh, yeah, it's kind of a mess, which I'll have to sort out sooner or later, but I have a lot of other old recordings that I don't know what to do with, I'm just like, That, I think they're just gonna go because I'm not gonna use it for anything. <coughs> Even the format that I recorded them in were was kinda like uh, not useful. Because it wasn't like a press format and Premiere or some other thing doesn't really fit for like this. Um Kitchen are finished, it's done, it's uploaded. But the um, the Fly House, my project uh, it was two streams and from this moment on. <coughs> it is in the process of me thinking should this be something that I do in an environment or just so the prop itself has an actual like, modularity. And I think I'm gonna do that. Just gonna fix it up a bit, repurpose it here and there, because uh, the environment that I wanted to do was not really working out that well. So it's kind of real, and it's a bit of a hassle. So it's all stuff from other like free stuff. I'm just kind of like thinking, yeah, I can't really do much with this. I haven't planned it out, so I'll have to go back to the drawing board, fix it up. Yeah, just some things that I wanted. But, um, <coughs> since that didn't work out, I'm gonna go to my next project, which is this, <coughs> which is gonna be a single prop that is focused to be a single prop project, which is a laser gun that is in the corner here. And it is a prop designed by Robert Sim. I have no idea how old that is, I cannot find his online portfolio anywhere. Uh, so it's kind of difficult to track down the artist. Unless it's just an old art piece they haven't showed off anywhere or some other worthy of work. So, <coughs> how long have we been waiting? <coughs> 5 minutes? Oh, 30 seconds. More than we'll start working for all the latecomers to join the stream. So, <coughs> so basically, this is this. This is the prop that I'm going to be making. It is a laser gun. 
<coughs> I don't know if this is 3D or 2D, but I think this is 2D with a lot of overpaint and just like projection, but very much cleaned up. It's all like textured in a similar way, so. Just looking at this, we got like a mirror image of parts. So basically, it's gonna be like 50% uh, <coughs> done. Just get here. What all this does, I have no idea. It's a shame we don't have like a battery here uh, or front view, but why the fuck? It's obvious that this part moves and this gives us like a nice idea of what this is gonna do. Yeah. <coughs> this is completely useless because it's in the area unless it's like when you hold it like this, it's to switch off and on the so that's fire. So it's either charge a beam, single shot, or anything, I don't know. This, I guess, is a cooling system or something like it, or just trigger whatever mechanism. It's like, zip, shoots out. <coughs> I'm interested in how this works because uh, here we see how it looks where it's. Um, where it's all connected. So it's front heavy. This could actually be like a silent or whatever. So, <coughs> Basically this is the thing that apparently goes back and then it flips forward. But seeing as there's no need for that, this looks like an aesthetic thing that wasn't really thought, of, thought about well. But this actually makes this entire thing a bit more balanced and not front heavy. So I might work that into the design itself, maybe extend it a little bit, maybe make it bigger, some sight. Well, it's a very simple looking thing, but they're just because it's from two perspectives, like And there's something top here, like something, you want to do something, but you know, we show it and it's basically a mirror here, unless it's just a mirror, mirror. Just a focus the whole paint. this looks. Interesting point because I never did something on something like this. So, okay, planning. <coughs> this grip shape is probably going to be from a different gun. So, let's say 1911. Let's just get it out. I'll just put on the additional gun. Glock grip. I think the glock grip is actually a bit too thick for this because this is very thin looking. So let's do 1911. Or I think it has this, but it's just wider, like it's overall wider. I 
Actually, I think this is a legal stock uh, grip. Wideness, but maybe it's just a little bit thick for the gun we're trying to do. I'm just gonna find like a nice deagle reference. This looks like a deagle. Tranquility base here. The eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. I guess you just need this. I do. They have like these, this chaffering looking thing. I think some settings were updated, incidentally. G give me a moment, or is it is it better now? Because uh, I have to set up these things like every once in a while, it just flips everything. Hmm. So if it's better, let me know. It's much better now. Oh. I really don't have an idea how this works, because I, like, I have the same setting, I don't touch it. And then an update throws out and the microphone audio is like really really quiet but the music is just like jamming the entire time because now my microphone is maxed out my desktop is minus 34 so okay let's see let's see let's see <clears throat> but it's good to know that okay um da -ba 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 -ba. let's see so usually it's what like i don't know which side i usually have it this Let's just put this in. Work. Uh, P personal. Concept. No. Let's get both of these in. Okay. So this is. No, that's Skype. Fuck off, Skype. I don't want Skype. Get away. Let's do this. I haven't worked in Blender since my last stream, which was 12 days ago, so... Actually, I forgot a little bit of the controls. I 
which is not good. <clears throat> so, so let's see. Okay, we're gonna do this like this. Um, we're just gonna adjust the scale to this one. <clears throat> Realistically, scale here isn't important because basically I'm not gonna put it in a scene. It's just gonna be the gun itself, maybe placed on a table, or like a holder of sorts. Gotta have a dry lips and shit. Yeah, th this, yeah, this is broken. Hmm. Okay. Nice. So let's see. Um. <clears throat> uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. So yeah, I guess I'll just do a wire. Give me wireframe. Oh, this has to be in front of it. Right. Okay, side front, yes, cool. Um, rotate 90. So, great wide background. This is gonna help. <clears throat> so, let's just find like a nice place. Okay this seems beautiful extrude it to something like this mind you I never model the gun all I usually do is just like non-violent props so gun is quite different for me I'm trying to uh, get this as best I can um, to start with, since it's basically going to be used the entire time. Okay, now the difference here is the bottom is flat, so even if I just do this here the way I did, of course the phone, exactly when I start streaming. Give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, the Deagle is quite a large gun. It's, uh, I think I hold, held it, or at least the equivalent of a Deagle. Um, uh, I'll do, I'm trying to find it. Call it. It's, uh, well. Mm. Mm, basically, it's. I don't know, it was a six chamber revolver <coughs> with Deagle bullets inside and that thing when you shot it, that jerks your hand so much and it's unpleasant to shoot. <coughs> I'm creating, the, uh, I'm gonna redo uh, the concept that is here. Just, yeah, remaking it from scratch. Basically it's gonna be 3D because this I would uh, think is um, 2D drawn, illustrated, but very, very well, because it's obvious from certain angles. But um, yeah, I'm gonna redo, recreate this. I'm just using the deagle as kind of a base, so I know the proportions, but mostly the handle, because the handle is, I would say, similar if not the same, just like a little bit of different. All right, I'm just gonna try to do the best I can with what I have. It might not be exactly correct, but it's gonna be correct enough for my use case. I'd say good enough for portfolio. So let's get this a bit lower here. 
And I'm gonna take my time, because I'm literally not in a rush. So now here comes the problem, because uh, this then goes in a different way, and the shape of this thing itself is from one piece, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. And again, I've never done a gun before. And there's a very good reason why 3D artists say you should do a gun. Because it it is one of the most cha more challenging things to do, I would say. Uh, so let's just extend it to here. I'm going to have it be to here because this one is also cut here. And then it just like squished and pushed inside a bit. Something like this. Mm, down. <clears throat> so plus minus something like this is basically where this is heading. Let's just turn this on. Vertex. There you go. How do these things happen? So. How do I go about doing this? So I guess I'll just do this here. Again, just making the basic shape, or at least trying to. I kind of want to like, have it be straight, because it makes things easier in the long run. No, not here. So now I'm gonna. Hmm. <clears throat> Actually, now I'm gonna take these parts, extrude them. Like this. There is a number of free multi view templates in these resolution, like even blueprints. Also, you can use FSPY to get proportions from a photo. F spy. What is that? Is a blender add-on? <clears throat> uh, I know there are blueprints online for these things. I'm not looking for exact blueprints. I'm just looking for just like basic shape to get from this to this. But F spy. What is that? F spy. Oh, F spy. Uh, there was a similar one. I don't know what, uh, oh, what was it called? Uh, blender, some blam. Yeah, there was blam, which I didn't really like. But F stop, I haven't heard of. But I think it's basically the same. Um, when I'll do environments, I'll probably look at it, but. No, now it's f so it's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm not interested in this because I really don't need it, to be completely honest. Um, I don't do that much environments, and it's basically just for, like, getting this perspective right, which for me isn't useful. But thank you for the recommendation. Mm, so let's see, let's see. I guess I'll just make this here, connect it. Something like this. Solid. Solid, why not? Why is it? Oh, it's basically exactly here. Cool. Yeah, I completely understand. Like, for environments, it's great. I just don't do environments that much. But if I do, I do them from scratch. <clears throat> so it's 
of no use to me. Which is about it. So here I need another cut. Let's put this here. So this which is gonna go no, go lower. Okay, cool. Uh, I personally just, you know, Google everything and estimate, like, and then just use logic, like, okay, so if somebody is, if uh, it's a chair, it should be X high. And then I imagine, like, okay, if somebody's laying down, I'm gonna use the measurement of the person to estimate, like, oh, it should be this high. And that's just, but that's just my workflow. I'm not saying it's correct or wrong, I'm just saying it's the one that works for me. But what do you do, uh, in other ways? Mm, let's see, let's see. Mm. A little bit this, a little bit here, just a little bit more circular. There you go, beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so this is done. Um, what else? What else? Is there anything else I need? Not really. I think the eagle has been used up to the degree that I need. So let's just do the. Actually, I don't need this. Have my references on my side here. This, this. So, uh, <clears throat> uh. so here I can see that this. Should, well, this should be something like this. But even in the concept, you can see that there's like a little bit of this going on. I'm somewhat of a 3D artist. Right now, I'm making a pathfinding algorithm for Blueprint in UA4, though. Oh, that's cool. I try to use Unreal, uh, and I would like to get better at it, but it's just a lot of things, a lot of small and big things to learn. That's a bit much for the time being but I'll get used to it so now I need a little bit of a jump here because it has a little bit of a curvature mm -hmm. so I'll do that by just raising up this thing and we got what do we want it I could just put smoothing or beveling on it, but that would just kill it right now. I'm just trying to make it nice. I do this. Okay, this is straight. It should be a little bit like this. Just a little bit out. There you go. So I'm comfortable saying this is looking comfortable to use. So let's go to no. Oh no, nope. 
uh, personal laser gun master. <clears throat> so I have our master thing. Oh, I haven't even noticed. This thing has this top thing it's very much squared off. So I guess I'll fix this and just run it up to here. bit higher like this and this is gonna be a little bit like this basically like this cool looks good this could use a little bit more well <clears throat> I know that doing this is a bit overkill at this stage, but I'm kind of like working off of the basic shape and if I feel that that is correct, that's when I feel comfortable going forward and right now I think this is very much nice. Just one more thing here. But this one's not needed as much. I think it can be a substitute for my set in terms of rendering, plus you demonstrate your ability to work with the engine. Exactly, um, I used to be a very, very uh, high praising Marmor set user, like I did all my things, all my environments, environments, visualizations in Marmor set. <clears throat> but I also used it as a workflow thing, because um, I did stuff in Substance, exported it, then matched all the textures with uh, Marmor set. And uh, then I started to, adding detail to textures like drawing things on stickers and so on in Photoshop and the, uh, the best thing about Marmoset is when you uh, override a texture save it go back to Marmoset refresh it all already is on there so you don't have to click drag it on there import it so I would say it's still a good like workflow tool to have depending on your workflow but I'm trying to go more and more into Unreal for these visualizations just to get the look going and the last three things I did were all in Unreal but big environments so that was a problem so now I want to do this thing and make it look good in um, Unreal itself so okay we've got the actually I need I kind of need this thing inside oh right I have to put in like this okay <coughs> So if you just scale this up, this, yeah, this looks good, this looks good. So looking at it from here, perspective wise, this is good, could be extended. Just pull it out, because it's somewhat on this edge. It's very, very soft to a certain degree. Well, let's just keep it this way. I'm um, just well. It's gonna be fixed later on. So something like this. Very cool. Very cool. Cool. So also the top should be a little bit lower. No, don't. Now comes the hard part, figuring out, uh, okay, so gotta redo this thing. I mean, I have my reference on my left, but it's just so much nicer to have it on the same screen. So it's a bit of a curve. So let's see. It's not like this. Oh, didn't put in the trigger. Great job, me. Great job. So this, I'll just, oh, let's just um, delete these two things. Actually, no. No. Put this to here. Not to this. So now, let's take this, or let's just take this down to here. No. So, are you primarily a programmer, Nether? 
were you artist? Like, what are you first? What would you were you educated in, or what is your preferred title? Some people are very specific about this, while well, others like, yeah, I'm just a developer, I make whatever. I make whatever they ask me to make. Because I can't do programming at all. So, this looks... This looks okay, but that should be a little bit thinner. It's starting to break here. Okay, now it's it's nice, it's nice. Now the th front is thinner while the back is thicker, and we can adjust that. Actually, I had it already. No, 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 no. This needs to go down lower, like this. Okay, this is cool. This looks cool. I feel like there sh is more space in this. Something like this. Yes. The inside of this should be more like this. Okay, cool. Save that. Still looking very, very flaky, but it's it's totally fine. Just trying to get the basic shape down. There are a few issues that I don't like. I get money with 3D, that is. Although I did not get a formal education that I learned from YouTube tutorials at first. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So I just decided, yeah, I like doing this. A uh, former coworker of mine did the same thing. He was like, programmer, then just, like, he didn't know what to do. <coughs> I'll do programming. And he got really good at it. Then he started doing a little bit of art, and now he's a full time concept artist and making big, big bucks. And I think he was like, yeah, probably not going to make that much anytime soon yet. Ooh, studios just want him. <laughs> so, I should cut my top beard mustache. So, <clears throat> we have this thing going on here. Mm. I'll try something else. Um, fine. So... Let's just extrude it. Shade smooth. And, um, cursor to select it. It's more than 3D cursor. Let's put a mirror on this. So now I have like a feeling for how thick this is, but I feel like this is actually pretty thin yet I'm gonna make it thicker regardless flat good no but it's definitely thinner it's definitely more along the lines of actually this okay cool So now, what else do we get? Okay, so what is this inside? This is what remained of the mechanism of an actual gun, because this is obviously like the pull me mechanism. And it looks a lot like 911, but hmm, let's just go 911. So just looking at this, let's look at the other side. They're literally on the exact same side, like can we get it? Okay, this one. <coughs> this part here looks exactly like this. 
It has like a little bit of a bulge here. Now, I'm not gonna do much with this. I will use it as a point of reference for that part specifically. No, that is the people still. Shit. There we go. Oh, we go. With this then I think I'm just gonna start making these little cylinder things because they make up most of the design. And I can f if I can figure out how and where they're placed, it's gonna help a lot. God, this even looks longer than the Teagle itself, so let's just elongate it. Now uh, one point two no. 1.5 because it feels way longer. It's something like this. 1.2. A little bit more. Okay. This looks okay. And now that I look at it, it should be a little bit thinner. Yes, this is looking much, much nicer. Cool, so show it smooth, all oh, smooth, cool. Is this in the front? It is now. <clears throat> okay, so this is basically just a cylinder. That is made bigger. This. We'll get it to here. Okay. Now we're gonna make it smaller. Shape it to here. This, this, have I been estimated the time it may it take me to make this? I would say a week of full time. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably a week. A full time work like eight hours a day, but I think it should be faster. It's just I literally have no idea how long things like these are gonna take me because I was never I never had the displeasure of time like I always had time to do everything I wanted within a normal time frame and even that extended because I was employed at a company that quality wasn't a big thing Actually. so I honestly have no idea and especially working from concepts like this. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm trying to do something about that, and which is why I'm doing these kind of concepts or work with concepts. Because right now I, I opened the company to start freelancing. I'm gonna try to have, like, try to get some experience with that. Let's see how that works. So I'll have a better estimation because I could say like eight hours I think realistically I could have like a really really good basic shape and then it's the cleanup that's gonna take time um, retopology texturing uh, those are the things like but if you're just rushing to get it done yeah probably two days one two three four one two three four It like this. Basically, this is here. Setup is gonna measure from the top, so it's gonna like this. Here, 
and then extend it like this. see what there is here just like a blur so okay we have oh actually this one is a bit bigger so I just extrude no 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 yes this at it uh, where should it be placed it should be placed somewhere around this area now there is one in the middle here which I think I actually did it spot on and even the top actually I just get the top one and put the bottom one here and they're in the same place but this one goes a little bit further than this Wait a second. There's a bit of a difference in the concept. So, okay. Here you see how this works. And here you see something different. He redid a bit of the concept. Because this here had no way to... You can tell this is the original concept. And this was the addition. Because he moved everything higher. Because otherwise you couldn't do a bend here. And the, the artifact in here is like... Yeah, he obviously drew it and just like pushed it. Even you can see the marks here. And there's no <coughs> tilt mechanism. And now the highest point is around here on this one. So, and I just noticed this. Well, this kind of makes it a problem. Hmm. So basically now it's a lot higher and battery, basically the battery compartment is looking top side. Hmm. Which basically says I should do this first. So I have the like the holding mechanism here. Hmm. <clears throat> but I said I'm not gonna do the bending, so basically I'm just gonna stick to this one. It's the pivot point is here. <clears throat> it's obviously made that it's the pivot point. But a lift up mechanism this would be like very unuseful i think if you want to do that you would like either add something here i think there's literally just an afterthought he didn't think because <clears throat> if the concept asked for like what's a reload mechanism on this he was like oh shit maybe remove the front because it's very much separated but i think that's why he lifted it up for a battery compartment because it just doesn't fit like this is an afterthought it's very very obvious it's an afterthought but I'm gonna stick with the original design here. But this is a nice thing to have, just like idea wise, what is beneath this. Because you're gonna be able to turn a light 360. I'm gonna still do it in Marmor Set. But the main render, I, hopefully, it's gonna be in Unreal and just try to recreate in Marmor Set. Or just like put it in here, enjoy, flip it as much as you want. Mm, okay, so this. But the looks of it is a bit more front, or at least this is a bigger version than this one. But again, it's mm, not really, maybe just like deeper inside. Useless, but it's there. So we'll have it there. But at the same time, I think it could just be the same. Something like this. But if you're looking at it like this, Just put this bit away. Top side. So th the shitty part is that I don't know what the top side looks like, but there's a 
divider of sorts so this gives me idea of okay let's just use this and see wh how it where it takes us no z thank you so obviously this has to be a bit wider apart it's not supposed to touch as much and i'm looking from this it's something like this at the same time it's a bit big so and longer so let's just <coughs> adjust the top so when this one is done i know that the bottom one is going to be fine as well but this looks very very much similar i just make it thinner so it looks a little bit nicer i think no, no, no. Thinner. Yeah, just that even does so much for it. And this part, I'm gonna throw it a little bit more forward. As well as this. like this <clears throat> now this part which is the back hmm. so this is actually a bit bumpy here so but yeah it's way too back so let's we'll just shorten something like this wow this is very different no i want the inside and the outside thank you Put it somewhere like no something like this make it smaller this and now it's already nicer but it has to be a little bit long like wait, where is wait, where is this thing okay um so this is the thick one this is the thin one of this and then oh yeah i missed the thing okay i completely missed the thing so let's just do this Now this looks a little bit more accurate. Still a bit on the thick side, but I think it's good enough. The spacing seems okay, like there seems like it's almost one extra. Actually it's exactly one extra, that is beautiful. Even from this end, uh, yeah, this looks a bit heavy. Let's try to move this a little bit closer, or let's make this work. No. Okay, so this is the point where I'm gonna need to use actual scale. So. phone what is it so let's see what is the size of this 
because if I have the width of the grip, I can basically uh, assume or adjust the actual grip and I'll better have a feel for how apart these things should be. Um, let's do a Deagle Ah, there we go. Yeah, I think this gun was based on the Deagle. I am very much sure, because... Um, well, the way this picture lets me know... Oh. Come on. What kind of format is this even? Locked. Great. Perfect. Beautiful. I need a flat view of a deagle. Come on. Deagle size. Come on, give me measurements. Okay. Stupid fucking ads. Measurements. Like this is what I got. Oh, this is a cool looking picture. If only I was a bit extended. And it's like literally full screen like this. Like this is uncomfortable to look at. Oh, there we go. Wikipedia. Of course Wikipedia. Of course. Uh, da, 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 da. Mass weight. Can you give me dimensions? No, you, you can't. You literally fucking can't. Um, th this is so stupid. Length? Got to length. What about. Eagle top view. Literally can't get a top view of a deagle. Like I, I can measure my own hand, do like this, but I know it's very specific. And I don't want to leave this up to chance because that would be stupid. How, hello, do you have measurements? No. 39, so give me everything else. No. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine, thirty-nine. Oh, just schematics, come on. Give me numbers. Is that so difficult? Why? Why? <laughs> Grip with. Oh, that's it. That's all I had to do. With. Where's my... Wait, 15? So length? Oh, width is uh, 32? No. It's not 32 centimeters, millimeters, is it? Well, that's interesting. 
32. Huh. Thinner than I imagined, to be completely honest. Much, much thinner. Uh, give me a second. Um, so this is what size? I know there are little templates. I know. So we're looking at this side. So when the reach is 32, there you go. But actually, that doesn't say anything. It basically, literally doesn't say anything. Wait, I think these two things. The way this looks. This should be a bit longer. Hey, um, how you doing? Oh, the music is very, very quiet. This is a bit louder. Okay, cool. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is gonna be it. So this is a thirty-two. That means uh, the top is like. I'm <clears throat> 32, so 64. So holding it like this, a 64. Yeah, I think that's completely possible. You woke up with a pain in your neck? Wow, that's shitty. Your pillow is either too high or uh, you're just sleeping wrong. You fail at sleeping. How does that make you feel? Okay. So, we got this. Oh, it's also doubled in the bottom. But these ones are a lot closer to each other. They're like literally one next to each other. This one is gonna be up top here. Oh, I know the problem. See the problem? This shouldn't be as big as the uh, uh, the other, uh, the outer rim. So, it should actually be as big as this one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this makes so much more sense now. I'm just gonna delete this. A little bit closer. There you go. That's one, two measurements. Cool. So how have you been uh, in general, Yam, when you're not sleeping? And how's your um, how's your uh, progress on the table? The 1920-1940 table design you were working on. If you're still working on it, which I hope you are, Should just duplicate this with the mirror, go top side. Selected. Selection. Selection cursor. It's in the middle. This is it. So now it's basically the same or similar looking design, just that it's literally twice the size. Well, let's say not twice. 1.5. Yeah, 1.5 looks really nice. It's somewhere in the middle of this. We're here. Just open this 
friends to be lower or just make this high. But the way that this doesn't interact, this is cool, but this does, so makes me want to think like this has to go lower. <coughs> cool getting the best out of you. It's okay. So, okay, let's adjust these things. Block out. Um, so, this is the way it is. Actually, just fuck this. Doesn't need to be here. This. So now, it should be somewhere where the trigger is, so this is it. So this thing should be a little lower here. Now getting it to somewhere this size. So now let's do a um, cylinder again. This is so much different than what we were doing before. Uh, let's see, cylinder. Okay, it's about the same size as this one. Yes. You kind of got uninspired. Well, that's your thing. You don't have to finish every project you start, much like you don't have to finish every game you you have. Do the things you want and enjoy them. So this is a little bit bigger than the thing, which basically gives us a nice little hole here. Hmm. <clears throat> so let's see, cursor to select it. Selection to cursor. Origin to three D geometry. Cool. That's well, basically exactly where I need it to be. Nice. So let's put it straight smooth. Cursor mirror. There you go. Started a typical scene of American soldiers playing cards on a table without the soldiers, obviously. Be careful if you give yourself too much work or a project that you don't think you can finish, because that is the leading cause of unfinished projects. Giving yourself too much to work in the beginning then you'll always feel like you never finish anything you're a failure and so on and so <clears throat> try to do small things just try like literally the same thing but without the soldiers just put cards on the table drinks bottles cups cans of food chairs just everything but the soldiers and you might finish it within time if you're still interested in doing it. Let's see. Well, move. 
Why don't you move? Thank you. Okay, cool. Then I misunderstood. Mm -hmm. The hole needs to be slightly bigger. Well, slightly. Slightly thicker. So like this. Now we have, yes, now it's much better. Okay, so this, um, try to make nets and blender, it kind of died. <coughs> you mean actual net, like, a net is a difficult thing to to make and uh, have it run good yeah mm. but at least you tried that's something that is more than some people can say they did but you tried and failed and then you'll try again let's see this is somewhere like this here Okay, this has to be bigger. So let's get a camera angle, camera, boof, let's go, so. I think I'm doing good, especially with the perspective and shit. The lighthouse is actually finished. Um, basically, I, I didn't want to stream texturing because that just chugs, chugs, chugs like no other nobody's business. <coughs> uh, I put it into Unreal, but basically in Unreal, I'm just fumbling around, figuring how Unreal works. And I think I'm just going to use it as an example of modular modeling and what I did and how I did it so it's not gonna go much further but it might currently it's in the background I work on it at my own time and I'm um, um, decided to I'm just gonna try the stream as much as possible just modeling itself because that's what I know I can do and I know I can present and I know it doesn't crash the stream so there's your answer because just texture itself uh, <coughs> Just going in substance and putting all those materials, especially wood or stone or something like it. And just layering them one on top of each other. It's just too much for my GPU. I mean, just in general, I don't think people uh, do textures online. If they do, I think it's... Um, they have like special settings for streams, which I don't know what they are. Uh, I just know it's very uncomfortable for me to record like 10 hours of basically just trying things out and knowing what I'm doing. I mean, don't be scared. Like, what I do is basically I work in 4K, uh, but it's like the subtle details that I needed the 4K for, like most of the time you don't need it. For me, it's just like basically testing out, hey, is this good enough? Is this, is this noticeable? And just going back and forth, testing out. And streaming just makes that a problem. But you shouldn't be scared of texturing. But you also shouldn't stream texturing. Like if you're painting textures, then that's totally fine. And that's why everybody that does texturing on stream, it's like they're not baking. They're just, they're not even applying materials. It's just like literally painting or adjusting things. Even the people that I follow. Because it's just so heavy on um, the computers themselves. You know, I gotta go to the toilet and... Fill up my glass.
Okay. <clears throat> so let's see, let's see, let's see. I can already feel the pain of doing some of these things here. And I'll just. Um, okay. <clears throat> so this appears to be flush with the thingamajig. Also, is the music loud? Because. Or loud enough? Because it's very quiet on my end. I just don't have a feeling if it's loud enough. Have few streams are literally just like almost non, non-existing. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, my my mustache is bothering me. So. <coughs> I'm just making sure. Because, um, as previously said, that is a bit loud. And of course, it's always just jumping around, so I don't have an idea of how loud it actually is. So cool. Mm, okay. I also see that this is a bit down, so just. Get it down. Is this good? Could use some more. A little bit. A little bit more. A little bit. This makes me satisfied. Okay. <clears throat> there appears to be an issue here. There we go. So now, reference, reference. <clears throat> There's this thing going from the top of this. So let's do this. Start off somewhere here. Actually, it's the same. It's kind of near. Hmm. Just extrude this. Do this. Get it down to figure out the size that I want exactly. It's very much something like this. Something really has to go. Just enough. Just enough. Okay, 
cool. So, huh. So this should be a little bit more like this, because we don't really have a good visuals on this, but from this camera angle, like a lip of sorts <clears throat> okay now this thing goes to about here there's something weird going on at the back but appears to be a little over the edge of this thing but also it's on the upper third Let's calculate this. This is one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't matter. Just do something like this. Divide it into three. Actually, just do this. Faces. So, so like. Yo! Theoretically, this should. I think the space in the middle of these two should be a little bit small, which means this should be higher. To which... Mm, let's just cycle render, just so I can get the shadows. There, there, it's there, there. So not far. So let's just put this a little bit back. Just duplicate this. is way off in the inside here and it's a bit more pushed in yes I see no, 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 no. just 
give this a little bit of shape, so a little bit of definition. This has to go in. So lower. I can say that this is a bit high, so something has to be adjusted, either the position of this, which I think is actually going to be adjusted, <coughs> but it's kind of okay, so it's actually this that's going to have to be higher, or is it? It's literally just me. bothering me yet I don't know what so this is gonna have to be like a bit more to the back this thing this thing oh hello details noticing something this should be to the middle of it cooking. Now this goes a little bit back. It's as if this thing is too big.
let's render this out. Yeah, this looks a little bit better. This, I think this actually looks perfect now. This middle part could be a little bit more, but also the look of this thing could be adjusted. Yeah. Something like this. This I think it's spot on, like well at least as spot on as needed be. Yep, I'm very happy with this. Did it even turn on the bevel? No I did yes I did. It's not noticeable. Transforms. Okay, no. No. Scale. Perfect. It's weird because this is lower. This little thing here is the thing that is probably s some extruded part, something, something. See, that is it. Yes, it is exactly this. Okay, so this portion is pretty much done. Now it's time to 
push this little baby a bit back. I think this is it. This is perfect and then of course it looks a little bit thicker but I'm just gonna like put some wrap on it later on. Cool, so need the fuck out of it. Okay, there's some issue here. Oh this is oh this 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 oh okay. Let's see, um, not train, not train, hmm, so let's do the front, or let's, let's try to do the, this part here, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. so, this part here, I like just, just try to fill up the thing, This has to be bigger. Hmm. <laughs> so what now? Should I redo, change this? Change this. This thing is about the size of this. Got it. This is almost as big as this. Yeah, I guess it has to be even shorter and smaller. And the problem is with this that this part is somewhere in the middle of this, which this is. This is next to it, but there's so much space here for another one. Because 
it's one thing for it to be a drawing, the other thing for it to be 3D, and sometimes the perspective just doesn't work. No matter how good it looks, it just doesn't work. Because I have a feeling that this should be a little bit bigger. The problem is, it cuts into this thing and it physically shouldn't be bigger, but this is what this wants, this is what this is gonna get. And now it makes so much more sense, just it's gonna have to be cut down here to size. Hey, XYU22, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Not gonna pronounce that. So, this way, it's, there's space for the almost double thing. Actually, there is space to be exactly double, which is exactly in the reference. <clears throat> Let's do the little cubic cube. Mm, Cursor to selected. is in the same range yet this appears to be more to the front than this actually is so this is perspective just like either this is uh, this thing is at an angle but it's obviously straight so yeah sometimes perspective just doesn't work with the concept it's like no I don't want to work but also this shows that this is a bit on the outside it's something like this and it already looks a little bit different so yeah moving off on the mechanical aspect of things now the cut seems to be around this area well this appears to be somewhere around here and just the fact that this is well this is gonna look so much different somewhere around the middle of it as much as I can tell this thing is gonna be way 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 different looking like just this like the so either this is very much more inside but from the concept you can obviously tell that these two are not even close to each other there's like a very very much barrier in this but, but this is the only way that this will work this way that it's made I think I actually got it accidentally very very much correct so it's already looking way different but it's looking good so now either this thing is bigger which let's try a bit more jammed in mm. we'll see about this oh wait shut move the camera So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And this is more square. 
square like so this has to go a little bit higher There's like a little bit of space with this, so how much more space? Something like this, I would say. So let's just put this out like, no, like this and push the top. To the side. Now that I look at it, this really doesn't work. <laughs> and like, just these things would have to be like way, way, way outside. Let's just put another camera. Actually, I don't need another camera. Like even now it's pretty pretty wide and like a bit unwieldy. And not even as close as elegant as maybe thought of. What did you get? Hmm. Oh of course I will lose my creativity. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best approach and <clears throat> my thing is I have to get the basic shape right. Like this thing here these things and things like these because if these things are not made correctly they will stand out like if this was underneath it and the same size as in the concept it would look very much off so i have to choose my battles and i think this is a more and these this this and these things are the striking details everything can be just adjusted so yeah Choosing your battles, it is very, very much important. <clears throat> and, but it's the subtle details, like you figure out, oh, there's spacing here and there's spacing here, is, is that a reflection? So uh, I'm gonna give this a bit more space just to be sure. And even now I'm noticing like this has to be a bit higher. So this can be a little Zero one in. Just drop it a little bit. But again, it's not as beautiful as of an angle as it looks. Just bothersome because this should be smaller than what it is. So let's just get a render going. So I'd like this to be a little bit tighter, but I don't want to cover any of the detailing. So if there was a flat version of this, like each angle, that would be like perfect. But no, it's hard to do that itself. So that's why 3D concepts are kind of gaining speed these days. Cursor sword, the 3D cursor, cool. So let's cube. Uh, so, this is somewhere like this. Cool. Yeah, that's why I'm adding the barrel, but I don't think it's gonna add the perception. I just think it's gonna fix or at least give me something else to focus on, like to destroy or let's say make everything more fitting, because now it's very much standing out like a sore thumb. So this is kind of like where this should be, so let's just, is this correct? This feels, see, and this is a different thing. This should be a bit more inside of it, which then negates the entire thing here. <coughs> this is the compromise of the entire thing. So either this is bigger and cutting into this, but then it's mechanically impossible for it to be this way with the amount of... S yeah, this is an impossible concept art, but... But it is a good looking concept art. It's 
but I would like to keep this shape because I think it's one of the standout features because it was just like a flat piece of metal it would be a bit eh, you know so but I also forgot to extrude this which it adds character perspective really really plays with you like okay so looking at this now Let's see. for this to be right I'm gonna have to extrude this something like this and now it's starting to look a bit more like expected this okay so now we have like the shape of this which I'm gonna duplicate and just send it down there because this is now correct so let's do this so this is Just take a rough measurement. So it's about the size of the body, which is exactly this. Now let's go to the bottom of it. And shoot it till we're satisfied with how it looks. There we go. <coughs> and already it's way, way, way thicker than imagined originally. Just something like this. And already we have like a few details that originally were missed. As these cutout things reach somewhere like this. And this is supposed to be more outside than this, yet this makes it perfect. Oh. Goodness me, concept art is fantastic to work with. So let's just widen up the entire thing. Origin, origin, to geometry. Like this. This is in front of this, so this should be even wider. And you know what? It's actually starting to look a lot similar. So a lot of the details disappeared because of it. But let's see if we can bring them back.
This doesn't make sense now. Mm. So this is so way forward <coughs> that there's no chance for this to be. There's nothing here, and so basically, oh, there, there, it actually doesn't extend to that. <coughs> so this has to go to this area, something like this. this area to be completely honest because I'm going off the thickness of this so it's as thick in the entire thing and this looks like this should be like cut off you like but instead the barrel looks like it's way bigger than it actually is Of this thing, so let's try to put this thing inside of the thing to make this complete and to ease on the pro. So, this is gonna have to be a little bit outside of it. I'll consider this to be more important to the general look and feel of the gun because don't know exactly how far in this is or how it looks here. But I know that this cut here is important, looking from this angle, and it just basically deletes the issue we had here. But this again exposes this problem, which, well, it's gonna stay the way it is. Cool. Okay. 
ますGood. So which one is it that fucks up? Also, oh, this is the broken one. So. Mm, cool. This is gonna be fine. Just finish this off and. It apparently doesn't connect to anything. So looking at the, the, the con oh right, it's mirrored. The concept it is not existent. Now these square looking things should be a little bit thinner. Something like this. Yes. And there's like literally a cut here. Here, so there's a little bit of rigidity and it gives me control as to what to do with it exactly. And now I'm just gonna make this inside part bigger. So structural rigidity and final form are gonna be very very much the same. That's beautiful. Beautiful I say. Put this like this, and now we're gonna apply Stick all the things. Push it down. Hmm. This is gonna be a weird looking gun because there's just gonna be a bunch of space in between. So, that's it. Storage on the geometry, cool. And I'm gonna mirror to this. This is what our gun looks like, but to aid in our perspective in this, this, this. And if I do say so myself, this looks very, very similar to what I have. So the render. This is the only one thing that is obvious that is wrong. And plus I'll have to fix up this thing, make this thing smaller, cut out things and stuff. And then figure out what's gonna be on the top, because now it's basically just a gaping old hole. But 
think I got the perspective really, really close. Something like this, basically. So yeah, um, <coughs> something's gonna have to be done about the middle part here. And that's basically gonna make or break the design of the gun, because that's the only thing that is not obvious. Because see, like, oh, this is a, this looks like kind of a solid thing, but there's gonna be detailing here, maybe even in like, what even is this? It's obviously a reactor or something of sorts, but. up the entire thing here but then it's gonna fuck up with the look take it back this is this is better this is better big thing there this is kind of like one of the standout features like the eye your eye is going towards this <coughs> I think this would be the thing I'm gonna make first because basically that's the first thing you notice and everything depends on the scale of this because this is hardwired here you're not gonna be able to adjust or move this any additional way I think this is enough for now um i might do another stream in the afternoon like a few hours from now but i got a few other things to do first so we'll see i'll see um thanks for stopping by uh this will continue as i said when it will continue uh and the next stop you know, the, the, the stop step whatever it's probably gonna be making this cylinder red thing and finalizing that and then going from that area forward so thanks for stopping by take care i'm gonna make a final render and uh see you hopefully soon cheers bye